Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. So today is the day where I'm going to attempt to install bonnet vents on my Ford Focus. So apologies if you can hear background noise but someone's lawn mowing or streaming, I don't know. Now I'm not going to lie, I'm absolutely bricking it because there's so much that can go wrong. One wrong move and I could completely destroy the bonnet. Um, I might catch the car on fire, who knows. But I want to document this whole process to hopefully help you guys out who want to do the same thing on your car. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at what tools and equipment you'll need. You'll need your bonnet template, which is usually supplied with the bonnet. So you need to cut that out, trim out around the back lines. The instructions usually come with the bonnet vents. So you'll need some touch-up paint, which, will you, which you will use for um, painting the cut edges to prevent rust. Uh, you have some black pinstriping, which we use to, to mark out the vents. A ruler, always come in handy. Tape measure, you'll need. Sanding blocks for filing, uh, smoothing down the rough edges. Pliers, come in handy. A white pen, which will probably come in handy, or a marker pen, whatever. Uh, goggles, you'll need. Scissors, can't remember if I said that. And a file, again, to smooth off the rough, edge, rough edges. Or a masking tape and tar remover or any type of sticky stuff remover so you'll also need your angle grinder so on that angle grinder I'm using a two mil thick uh, cutting metal cutting disc so you don't want it too thick otherwise you know you'll struggle with um, cutting the lines accurately you'll also need some form of sheeting whether it be a cloth or plastic sheeting I'm using plastic sheeting and I'll be laying that all over the car basically to prevent any um, sparks from damaging the paintwork. So I have decided to go for the Mark II RS style vents um, roughly there and there. Obviously it will require me to cut into the bonnet which is probably the most nerve-wracking bit because one wrong move and I've destroyed the bonnet. Obviously the bonnet vents need to be absolutely symmetrical so it's all about geometry I suppose I'm gonna to have to what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a center line down the center of the bonnet and I'm gonna create some other lines just to help me mark out the positions so what I've done now is I've just created a center line running down the center of the bonnet and I got that center line by marking or well, measuring between each washer jet measuring the exact distance between them measuring the center point and then measuring the center point from the center point down to the center of that radius there. So this is the position that I want the bonnet vent to sit. Um, I think that looks quite, yeah, that looks quite good like that, I think. Quite happy with that. So what I've done is I've roughly taped it into place so that it doesn't move. And using a straight ruler, I make the ruler sit flush with the edge of the vent, like that. And I've made a white mark there, and a white mark, uh, I'll show you better. Yeah, so it's sitting flush there, I made a white mark there, and a white mark there. So what I'll then do is run a straight, another pinstripe from there to there, and that'll give me a nice straight line, and then that'll help me line up the second one. So now the black pinstripe is running across level with the bottom of the vent and then now what I'll do is I'll measure from that point there to the bottom of the bonnet and same there from that point to the bottom of the bonnet and I'll transfer those measurements over to this side and that should give the same angle so I'm now quite happy with the um, alignment of the vents so again once I laid this line out and leveled with level this vent with that line and then copied that onto this side again by measuring there to there and there to there making sure that's the same as that side um, I then laid this vent on make, making sure it was level with that line I then measured here to here and then again once again mimicked that onto this side here to here I then measured from the center to that corner and again from the center to that corner to make sure that everything was absolutely perfect which I think it is now 
So what I'm going to do now is just mask around each vent. So the bonnet vents come with paper templates. So what I've done now is I've cut this template out and that template should fit inside the masking tape lines I've just drawn. So what I'll do is I'll lay that down like that and I will push it up against that line and I'll draw around the inside and then I'll do the same on the other side. I'll flip it over, I'll push it up like that and then draw again around the inside and that will be my cut line. So the white lines, or the cut lines, are now marked out. I'm pretty happy with how they're, um, how symmetrical they are. So the next step is to lay ma masking tape around, around the edge of that white line, and then the next stage will be covering the car um, and getting ready for the cutting step. It's all been masked out now. And now I need to start covering the car. So what I'm going to do is I'll lift the hood, lay some sheets under there, lower the hood again to protect the engine. Um, I'll then need to protect the window and probably the roof as well, as well as the um, front bumper. So I'll start wrapping up now and I'll see you after that. So to cover the car, I am going to use black plastic polythene sheet. Hopefully it won't catch on fire. Right, so now the car is all taped up and ready for the cutting phase. So when doing this job, it's obviously very important that you take necessary safety precautions. Um, you have to use an angle grinder, or well, I'm using an angle grinder, so obviously make sure the disc is in good condition. I'm using a 2mm thick uh, metal cutting disc, so make sure you use a cutting disc and not a grinding disc. Make sure that the disc is secure, so make sure the uh, locking nut is done up tight. The handle is, I, I would say it's important to have the handle to steady the grinder whilst you're using it. Also, safety goggles is a must. I've seen a lot of videos where people don't use safety goggles and I don't know how they still have their eyes. But yeah, safety goggles are important. Um, I also have a fire extinguisher at the ready and water if need be. Hopefully it won't come to that. But if my car decides to catch on fire or blow up, hopefully a fire extinguisher might help. So at this point I am absolutely bricking it. Um, but it's got to be done. I've got to do it. So. You see everything is marked out and ready, so I will simply cut one length at a time. I'll probably go to, I'll probably attempt to cut the shorter lengths first and then the longer lengths after. Um, I might need to use a hacksaw or something to get in the corners, but we'll see about that. So yeah, wish me luck.
done. Um, next time I probably recommend wearing earplugs because I literally cannot hear a thing at the moment. I think the angle grinder annihilated my hearing. But anyway, it looks good. The cuts are actually really easy. Um, so I think we'll trial fit a, well, trial fit both the vents. One. And there's a second. Yeah, they look like they fit quite nice. So what I'll do now is I'll start uncovering the car and I'll have to start tidying up the, the edges and sanding them smooth. So the cover is off. I'm going to leave the lining on the inside for now whilst I file the edges. But what I'm going to use to file the edges are these small sanding blocks. So I'll pick the finest one for starters. That one. What I'll do is just simply smooth off all the edges and get rid of all the uh, sharp bird edges. Now it's important when you peel this masking tape off to peel towards the cut line just in case you end up peeling back the paintwork. I mean it's very unlikely but it could happen so always peel towards the cutting line. So you can see around the outside of the cut, there's a lot of this horrible dirt, kind of like melted resin from the masking tape. So before we do anything, we need to clean all of this off, to make sure the surface is nice and smooth before we start bonding the vents in place. So to remove this, I'm going to use the Autoglim uh, Intense Tar Remover. I'm just going to use that on a microfiber cloth. So this is why it's important to cover your engine bay because you get all these little metal shards that could that could, uh, well it would ruin your engine probably so we can take this sheet off now and we can start prepping the uh, prepping the vent holes a bit more so the next step is to paint these exposed edges to prevent rust from coming through so what I'm going to use is some red touch-up paint. So what I'll do is I'll just apply the paint around the edge and a bit on the inside of that cut and that should prevent rust from appearing hopefully. So all of the cut edges can now be painted this should, in theory, stop any rust from coming through and the bonnets, bonnet vents fit quite nicely. So, so far, so good. So what I'm going to use to bond the vents to the bonnet is Tiger Seal, the black Tiger Seal. Um, so this is really strong stuff. Uh, what I've done is I've cut the top off and I'm simply going to spoon the uh, tiger seal out and I'm going to dab it all around the edge just so that that'll give me a bit more control over where where I want the uh, resin to sit. It's important that you don't 
overdo the resin, otherwise it will spray out from underneath the vent and probably it will just look messy. So make sure you, you know, you want to use a decent amount but not too much. So the vents are being bonded. It's important that you keep weight on each vent. So I'm improvising with a battery and a socket set and a bottle of white spirit. So yeah, obviously I put the rag on there so it doesn't scratch the vent itself. It's also important that you lay out your weights um, spread evenly on the actual vent. So yeah, this will probably take a few hours now, so... One eternity later. So it's been roughly three hours, the glue has set, they look really solid, and um, yeah, they look great, so let's go take a look. And here they are. I think they look pretty sweet. It wasn't actually as hard as I thought it was going to be. But no, I'm really happy with how they turned out. So I'll show you what it looks like underneath the hood. It will need a little bit of tidying up, but for the first attempt, I'm pretty happy with that. Just a bit of dirt there that needs to be cleaned off. But No, I'm happy with that. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully I've inspired some of you to install your own bonnet vents because it's really not as hard as what you may think it is. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is FCZSam. And I'll see you on the next video. Check this out.